Welcome to another video from rcdiy.ca. This video is about how to change the image displayed when the transmitter is turned on. Please read the documentation for details on what I will be showing you. A link to the documentation will be placed in the description below this video. Locate an image that you would like to use as the startup image. OpenTX provides a set of start screen images that you may use. A link to these will be placed in the description below this video. You may use any image at this stage. Open the image in an image editing software such as GIMP. First crop the image to keep only what you want displayed. Then convert the image to grayscale. Look for areas in the image with low contrast between the shades of gray. You may want to delete some areas to increase the contrast between adjacent areas. Convert the image to indexed colors. For the Tyrannus QX7 series of transmitters, select the black and white 1-bit option. For Tyrannus X9 series of transmitters, select the 16 color option. Now we will size the image to fit the transmitter screen. First we will scale the image to the correct size. For the Tyrannus QX7 series of transmitters, the image needs to fit inside a box that has a width of 128 pixels and a height of 64 pixels. For the Tyrannus X9 series of transmitters, the image needs to fit inside a box that has a width of 212 pixels and a height of 64 pixels. Next, we size the canvas to be the exact dimensions required. Export the image as a bitmap. Turn on the transmitter in bootloader mode and connect it to the computer using a USB cable. Wait for the SD card and Tyrannus drives to mount. Launch Companion. Click on Read, Write and then read the firmware from the radio. Save the file giving it any name but with a dot bin extension. Click on read write again and then write firmware to the radio. Click on load and then open the bin file you saved. Select Use another start screen. Open the start screen bitmap file that you prepared. Select the Check Hardware Compatibility option and then write the firmware to the transmitter. Eject the SD card and Tyrannus drives. Disconnect the USB cable from the transmitter and then power off and on the transmitter. This brings us to the end of this video. Please like, subscribe and follow the links below. Stay safe and have fun.